Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes. I'm here at the David Ward Memorial Fly-In at Stone Mountain Radio Control Flyers Field, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Walking the flight line. Wayman is here with all of his gear. Hobby shop on wheels. Had to buy some things there a few times. Just got filled up on some delicious hot dogs. There were also cheeseburgers. Got the raffle getting ready to go. We got uh, Limbo getting ready to go. Got my planes here. I was here actually earlier than usual. There's my table. People are still showing up. Matt got a new plane from Bobby. I'm sure he'll like that. Those are great planes. Got a few people selling some planes. Pete. Mark is here from Tennessee. Here's his new jet he just maidened. Howdy! And that is the flight line. Mark has his jet out and he's going to taxi it. He cannot fly jets here, but he can definitely taxi it. The Mark has here is a manufactured by Park, the power of the aircraft. It's a three meter double max. This dry weight is uh, just under 55 pounds. The cable engine in there put out 58 pounds of jet. There you go, go straight up. It's an all composite airframe. And it's a composite aircraft car. Both of these jets are composite. Size, what do you think, Tom? Fantastic. I remember the day when he used to just fly the jam and how he graduated all the way up to this. I know. Woo. That is loud. All right, next question is, I really want to see one of these jets fly. Where do I go to see one of these jets fly? Well, you got to go to one of the nearby shows. Sarah Farms, who does a uh, jet show, I think at least once a year, they go on the street in Good Hope. But, you want to see a lot of jets fly. In Georgia Jets, down in southeast of the city, they have a big event. And then, of course, uh, Joe Nile or Nile in the fall, a big, big event where you can see every time you want to change up.
But in case you're wondering, we are a no-turban field. We don't have the space or the safety margin for flying these things. They have a nasty record of exploding on their ground. Here's the bomb drop competition. Oh, the airplane just tanked. That happens every bomb drop. I think I've won this one. I didn't uh, record the limbo because I was in the limbo. And I made it down to the last round, but then I hit the ground and then I was allowed a second try and I hit the string. So I couldn't quite get it. Here is paintball gunning.
Mark's got his cub. I think it's a. I think it's a. It's a 50%. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't seen that up in a while. Got a uh, Delta Jet here. Boy, she's cruising. Oh, I love the wing flakes. You know, that reminds me of the too. Oh, yeah. Okay, where are we? See ya. Yeah, look at that. That's okay, she's built to fly. Very nice. She looks great. It's okay, it'll just slow you down. Yeah, it's pretty much way down a little bit. Yep. No biggie, you got it. Oh, yeah. She's yeah, built to fly. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Greasing it. Oh! oh. oh. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no! No, no! That's not right! <laughs> We're going to begin deboarding now. Everyone can go down the bouncy ball slide. It really was! Oh, it's like a normal wood ride. You got more down the elevator. Yeah, I bet it flies fun now. Hey, good thing that didn't happen in midair. Yeah, yeah good job, man. Good job. That's crazy. <laughs> All that. That was a great landing. Really I'll say this. this. This was not the first time this has happened. That, oh. joint, that joint is crucial. <laughs> Looks like it's been glued Yeah. a couple times. That's amazing. That's crazy. It is crazy. Put some, like, uh, carbon rods in there. Really <laughs> they are. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone. I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, 
or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs, as well as building ARFs and, if I can ever get back to it, building my top flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing. And by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching and thanks for any support. And I wish you blue skies and good speed.